In June, we told you the story of Colleen Perry, a mother whose son used fake urine to pass his drug test. It was something that she discovered after he overdosed and died. Well, since our report, our Nine on Your Side I team discovered a connection between the man behind a certain brand of synthetic urine sold in Cincinnati and Cincinnati's own mayor. So negative, 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 negative. When the Nine on Your Side I team tested synthetic urine, the results were clear. So your first look at this, you would say... It's a negative okay, drug screen. Negative. A product marketed for years to pass any urinalysis has ties to Cincinnati, invented and created by Matthew Stevens, who even holds a patent on it. Its sole purpose to produce negative urinalysis results. Hi, is this Matt? When we spoke to Matt by phone, his claim was the urine is designed to pass tests looking for nicotine and not for any other purpose. Yeah, that's doublespeak, isn't it? I mean... Why would you have something that's guaranteed to pass your drug test, but not meant to pass a drug test? Do you know Matt Stevens? I don't. Since our report, Nine on Your Side uncovered new information. Our Nine on Your Side I-team discovered Matt Stevens and Mayor Cranley's paths crossed in 2013 during a campaign fundraiser. So we had a mutual friend who uh, asked Matt to host a fundraiser for me in 2013. Uh, obviously, I was there. Fundraising paperwork filed with the Cincinnati Elections Commission shows Stevens donated $500 to Cranley's mayoral campaign. Cranley says once he saw Stevens' connection to synthetic urine in our story, he told his campaign to write a check to the Center for Addiction Treatment, or Cat House, for the full amount. I didn't even know about it until I saw your report. While Cranley says he wasn't aware of Stevens' ties to synthetic urine, he says products like this are not welcome in Cincinnati. To engage and market a product that's sole purpose is to engage in fraud is, uh, you know, should be illegal and, and if it's not already, it should be expanded into the fraud statute. As a defense attorney, when you see a product like that, what's the first thing that goes to your mind? I, I really would discourage people from doing it. Criminal defense attorney Mark Crumbine says judges and probation officers he deals with want to see people successfully recover from drug addiction and cheating with something like this is the wrong choice. They probably could get a break or two and, and the courts would try to help them get back on track but if they get caught cheating then they could uh, you know literally end up going to prison. Now, we reached out to a number of state lawmakers about synthetic urine. We even reached out to the online retail giant Amazon, who sells products like this on their site. They didn't get back to us, and only Congressman Brad Winstrup and Senators Rob Portman and Sherrod Brown actually addressed the issue tonight on your side. Winstrup called products like this concerning and promised to continue to support legislation that would make them illegal. Senator Portman said products like this are a disservice to the families experiencing the consequences of addiction. Senator Sherrod Brown said that he'd keep our thoughts in mind should this issue come before the Senate. It's a story we'll continue to follow.